This is a Lamborghini Aventador S Coupe. It's sitting on the terrace of a beautiful penthouse in the King West District of downtown Toronto. What might surprise you is I brought this Lamborghini here as a prop just for staging this condo. What might surprise you even more is that I used AR, augmented reality, to set this Lamborghini here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to stage this entire penthouse using nothing but augmented reality. Stay tuned and I'll show you how it goes. I'm currently standing in 500 Wellington. I'm on the 10th floor. It's a penthouse suite. It's a full floor. It's completely vacant. There's three bedrooms, three bathrooms, fireplace, two private elevators, a private swimming pool. This place has almost everything you can imagine. It is a true penthouse. But the best part about it is the size and the fact that it's completely vacant is going to work perfectly for my needs. It's gonna be a little intense to try and do a full true staging of this space today, but I'm gonna do the very best I can with what I have. I'm only using an app from my phone. I'm trying to keep it really simple. This experiment today is really just a test to try and find out how close we are to the real estate industry starting to adopt some of these new 21st century technologies like augmented reality. Hopefully by the end of the day, I can get a feel for where we're currently at, maybe where we're going, where it can be used, and how likely it is that the industry will actually adopt augmented reality as a practical tool. If you like what you see today in this video, this penthouse is listed for lease and it's listed for sale. It's currently listed with Jordan Grossman at PSR. If you want some more information, please see the link in the comments section. It seemed to me the obvious place to start was the living dining area. This is a huge blank slate and likely the most forgiving and easiest place to start testing the software. I decided to start this off by dropping in a grand piano, two armchairs, a side table, a portrait of some maple leaves, and a bench just outside the entrance of the private elevator. At first glance, I was pretty impressed, but after scanning the room a few times, I began to notice several glitches. The furniture began to mysteriously shift out of place. There seemed to be a glitch in the matrix when it came to that painting on the wall, and I had to keep resizing the bench sitting by the elevator. Next stop was the dining room, and I have to admit, I was really getting into this. I found myself putting my phone down, looking up, and being really surprised to see nothing there. I'm not sure if it was the texture or the shine on the counter, but the kitchen counter absolutely loved this AR app. Putting down these place settings was so easy. Let me show you how I did it in real time. Once you have the Homestyler app open, you simply scroll down, select kitchen, select accessories. From there, it just becomes like a shopping app where you can scroll through hundreds of accessories, shopping for whatever you'd like. You can stop, hover over an item, get more information. For example, this Keurig K65 Special Edition Home Brewing System from Target, or you can continue shopping till you find something that you think will be perfect for your space. For me, I wanted to try the play setting from Restoration Hardware. Simply select the item you want, look through the viewfinder, it'll place the item right in front of you. You can make some minor adjustments to the entire play setting till you get it just right, and that's it. You're done. Now you're ready to take a walk around your space, have a look at the items you just placed down, decide if you like them, decide if you want to swap them out, or if you'd like to have them delivered the next day. I did promise I would stage the entire penthouse, so let me quickly run through a few more rooms and show you how much fun this app is to play with. So do I think AR is gonna take the real estate industry by storm? Not right away. 
But do I think it should be on the radar? Absolutely. I think the, uh, the potential for this technology could be incredible. One, you're saving a great deal of money and time and resources by absolutely not staging. You're saving all that by doing it digitally. And by doing it digitally, you could actually be staging using several different styles. You could do a contemporary, you could do a transitional, you could do um, a more classical style, and you could have the potential buyer just walk in and select the style that they want to see in that space and have it appeal to them specifically. The other cool thing is all the furniture being placed in the space is actually pulled from stores. So these are real pieces of furniture. These is real decor and it can be purchased on closing or after closing, they can know exactly how they want to furnish the suite, how much it's going to cost and have everything shipped to them right away. That's it for this episode. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.